Hey, it's me, Momo. I know it's been a while. I hope you're doing very, very well. As you may have realized, I changed my name from Momo Like Speeches. I can't even remember my own name. <laughs> to Momo Wallenstein. And I did that because I think Momo Like Speeches doesn't fit to my future of this channel or the brand I want to build up in the future. Today in this video I want to talk about what kind of feelings I was experiencing the last few weeks and months. It should not be an excuse for why I was gone for so long. It should be rather something I can learn from, we can learn from. I want to start with an event which had a huge impact on my current life and also my mental health. And that is me not being able to attend the six months language stay to Japan due to Corona. And because of that, I also lost a lot of money, which also weighed really a lot on my mental health. I'm a person who loves to travel and I'm very open to work and live in another country. Because of the current situation, I feel like I'm stuck in Switzerland and to be honest I just want to leave. About this topic I had a conversation with another person from Germany and we talked about how I was stuck in Switzerland and she said to me Switzerland is not the worst country or the worst place to be stuck in and I totally agree. Switzerland is a quiet beautiful and safe place but all this cha doesn't change I want to experience and see different countries or live in different countries. If the base of the way for all my current troubles, the struggles of the past didn't really vanish. I'm still very lonely. I don't know what it is. Maybe my really strong desire to live in Japan and leave Switzerland. I don't know. I don't really have anyone to go randomly on a, I don't know, on a Saturday evening unannounced and chill out at their home. I, I don't have that. I don't really have that. I also still have a really hard time dealing with any kind of pressure. You may ask when being a content creator is maybe the wrong choice. You may be right, but it's still I still love to create um, photos and videos and this is also the reason I really want to continue. And it's not like I can't learn how to deal with pressure, right? All these points I mentioned so far led to heavy, heavy procrastination. And the result of this procrastination was me not giving my best anymore at work. It doesn't really matter if it was busy or not. I posted less and less content on my main social media platform, Instagram till I stopped completely. I stopped uploading videos on YouTube and I also stopped completely doing housework. I paid my bills to the last possible moment. Sometimes I even got fines because I paid too late. And I don't want to start, I don't want to start with my fashion management or Japanese studies. This is our visa where completely game over. I experienced firsthand how hard it is to get out of this procrastination sickness. I just call it like that because I just couldn't stop. <laughs> it felt like I was addicted to doing nothing and that was really damn scary or it is still really damn scary. As you can imagine all of this left me in a pretty depressed and bad state. Now today I want to gather with you. I know I'm not the only one with these challenges. Learn to deal with procrastination or prevent procrastination. To deal with negative emotions and maybe start learning to live in the now and not in the past or future. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day. Peace.